four is the fourth crew rotation flight for the SpaceX Dragon vehicle. Crew four's goals are to safely and, and successfully get to the International Space Station and then to spend the allotted time living and working in space, meeting all of the planned research and science and maintenance goals of the space station program. We are all like, super excited about the opportunity to fly on a Crew Dragon spacecraft. That vehicle is a, a super complex, modern vehicle that enables us to get to space efficiently and safely. Uh, my role as pilot on the uh, Dragon vehicle is primarily to uh, monitor and maintain the systems of the vehicle itself. To get a chance to pilot one of the newest vehicles on or off the planet uh, is a true honor. Yeah, getting selected for Crew 4 was, uh, was amazing because it, it, it's, it's an opportunity to go back to the International Space Station and experience again that transformation from being an earthbound creature to being this space living creature. When you get to space station, the, yeah, the first thing that really strikes is this feeling of weightlessness. I'm so excited to revisit the space station. It was home for five months back in 2015. You know, we arrived on orbit and really within a couple of days, my brain adjusted to the idea of floating. Not that I was good at it, but the novelty of it. I think that the fact that our brains can adapt to something that is so novel, so different, something that we're completely unaccustomed to for all of our lives, and that it can just, just adapt like that is absolutely amazing. The International Space Station is a national laboratory built to do science. The connecting element between all the experiments that we do up there is the space environment, and specifically weightlessness, microgravity, as the scientists like to say. When you're dealing with complex systems, uh, one way to learn how they work is to start removing variables. Uh, we're able to do a lot of that down here on Earth, uh, but one of the things that we have a challenge doing and we can't do is remove the effects of gravity. And so by taking things to the International Space Station, we can remove that and we can see how these complex systems work, how things grow, how they develop. We do so much research up there that not only helps technologies and development uh, down here on Earth, but it is also aiding NASA's pivot back into deep space exploration. The work that we do every day helps us to better understand how the human body changes in weightlessness and to understand how to do the operations like spacewalks and robotic arm activities that are necessary uh, for us to be successful in lunar orbit, on the lunar surface, and on our way to Mars. We get this awesome opportunity to be representatives of, of humanity, of all of you, and we don't take that lightly. We're super honored to have that responsibility and are excited about sharing the journey with, with all of you. Subscribe for more space.